<laughs> Yorick, is Holy it? Holy shit, a Tesla. Oh yes. my god, what a treat. Yeah, this is a treat. <laughs> I was just barely sleepy looking at looking for the um, license plate number. So, oh, it's self driving, that's cool. And, oh wow, it's a Tesla Model X. <laughs> Demonstration. Yeah. Lovely car. The best. So, what have you heard about Teslas? Well, I've read a lot about Elon Musk. Recommended his autobiography a few times. You've read his they autobiography, are... have you? Oh no, I've been recommended. <laughs> I should read it. But you know all this SpaceX stuff, Tesla and stuff. Just trying to save the world. Just trying to save the, the world. Power of his own old. mind. What's that? He's trying to save the world through the power of his mind. Yeah. That's, quite a... That's what I'm. I'm working on that one too. Really? Yeah, I'm doing a, a documentary. I'm trying to change people's mindset about electric vehicles and self-driving okay. cars. So many people just are not aware that, um, that they're already here. Everybody mm -hmm. seems to think it's in the future. You know, it's coming. Uh, and uh, I've been driving a Tesla for two years now. I'm trying to encourage more people to see it as a viable option. Oh, okay. And everybody seems to not be aware how high performance they are or how safe they are or how cool yeah yeah no they're really or cool. how cheap 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 really? cheapest car you can buy nobody factors in depreciation right no engine to wear out the interest level in these cars is going through the roof the huh. resale value is very high so if you look at total cost of ownership, yeah. no fuel to pay for, mm -hmm. no brake pads, no like almost no servicing. Huh. Interesting. <coughs> I actually thought of it like that. What about uh, charging stations? How are they coming along? Uh, <coughs> yeah, I think there's plenty already. Yeah. I mean, you just charge at home so just wake up and your car's full wow. so if you need to go in, interstate then you just use the supercharge supercharge yeah. network uh -huh. and uh, which is free and yeah it's no problem it's a solved problem yeah and people are still thinking it's a rich toy You know, the VW scandal with the emissions, somebody did some statistical calculations on yeah. how many people died as a result of the extra emissions in the atmosphere. And I think it, the estimate was about 1,600 people are dead because of the elevated pollution that the, uh, yeah. the, 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 the hacked VWs caused. Mm -hmm. Tesla doesn't cause any pollution. Yeah, yeah. It's just this this super cool. Like the whole the whole idea of electric self driving cars. It's just, it's but if if the car doesn't depreciate as much, there's there's a lot of energy that goes into building the car themselves. So if they don't depreciate that's an added cost there as well. I mean, everything does depreciate, but it's, if you look at it comparative with petrol cars, you know, it's a it's a very different, uh, very different situation. Mm -hmm. And the gap is only going to widen because the value of petrol cars will be dramatically dropping as soon as the. Um, Electric vehicles become uh, high volume sales, which is we're talking like two years away. Right. Um, who would want to buy an old petrol car, even if it's two years old? Fancy BMW. No, why would you?
Tesla is capable of self-driving right now. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh god. Welcome. Does to it, the, yeah, the does it know the route? Like, is it connected to Android? Um, it doesn't know the route, but I mean, sir, it's driving okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just it's following the road. Okay. This is like a fairly basic self-driving car. It's not. Uh, it's not sort of end-to-end, point-to-point self-driving, and <coughs> still need me in the car occasionally to take over. By by design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can make it much better, but you need to need to have the driver forced to interact with the car just enough so that the driver is very clear yeah. that they are still in control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a sort of it's a threshold where you say that the um, the car is fully autonomous. Um, do you mind if I take a picture? Yeah, yeah, sure. I might just take off a little bit quick from these lights if I can. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Yarek? What's your uh, work I'm, life? So I'm a data analyst, but I also work with machine learning and stuff. So oh, training yeah. neural networks to to like try and recognize speech patterns. And or trying to train them to play a game or something. So, yeah. lots, of, lots of different things. Right. Well, AI is the buzzword of the. Yeah, it's it's really big, time. especially in like data science and stuff. Where you're training AI to recognize patterns in financial data, it's making like a banker's job obsolete, or it's starting to make more and more. It's it's starting to do better basically. So you can train a, you can train it to do whatever you want it to do. It doesn't really understand what it's doing, but it knows what you want to do if you give it the right data. So, yeah. yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah. Well, I wish that you were driving a lot further to your destination yeah. so I could chat more and <laughs> yeah, I was learn. Sure. Left here? Uh, just there. right there is fine, actually. Yeah. What do you do when you're, when you're not driving? A uh, software company doing scheduling for school, so... Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, sort of yeah, thank you so much. Okay.